Hi mate, have a cup of tea please. Hi, I'm Sam, Sam Mellish. Um, I'm a freelance jobbing photographer, I guess you're cool. My knowledge of roadside cafes was going to Little Chefs and Happy Eaters as a kid with my parents and it was like a, yeah, quite a uh, treat. I'm always really interested in you know, like everyday stories. I like the underdog, I guess, and I just find them intriguing. I think when I told people I was going to load my car up and spend, you know, 10 days searching out these traditional roadside services, I think people thought I was bonkers, actually. You know, I think the idea of spending more time on the road than is absolutely necessary for a lot of people seems kind of bizarre, but I couldn't wait. I was so up for it. And, you know, that I think people, some people got it. A lot of people laughed. These places are a little bit rough around the edges and you could drive past them and think, I'm not stopping there, that's minging. Um, but I think you sort of get, get away from that stereotype and you'll be pleasantly surprised. I think if you sort of slow down a little bit, you can really begin to appreciate these places. It was just really nice to spend some time exploring the UK and to, to go out, take photographs, find out these places, find out a little bit about Britain, you know, learning about these sort of weird and wonderful subcultures. Beautiful things can be seen, you know, if you sort of pay attention. I think really Roadside Britain for me was inspired by Route 66, um, that whole American road trip. And I wanted to do it here in the UK because whereas in America everything is big, beautiful and bright, here it's a little bit kitsch, a little bit just left of centre, I guess. Try and find beauty where you'd least expect it, I guess. I think that was kind of one of the things for me.